agree that creating and sharing the right mood is basically essential for any creative project? And have you ever had so many different ideas floating around, struggling with focusing, committing to the design process, and present your ideas with a maximum of self-confidence? If you can relate to any of these questions, then this course might be really helpful. So, we are going to learn how to efficiently structure a mood board in a three steps program. I know the creating part, is, which is the middle part, is the most fun thing to do, but there is an important first step to be taken, which is an analysis I walk you through, and a final chapter once you have finished your mood board. And of course, I show you in between all the different techniques for putting together your mood board, and you will even be able to watch me doing a live mood boarding session, which I think is really helpful, since we are not together in the, in the same classroom. So hello, I am Gudi Herder, and I guess it's time about to introduce myself. I live in Barcelona, and I work as a trend expert in the interior and lifestyle field. I develop trends with clients sometimes two years ahead, and we work together on their collections. So, mood boarding is an essential part of my work and for my blog Eclectic Trends as well. You see, I've been searching for information such as uh, tutorial or books or any courses, but there's not much on the market. So I decided to start teaching this technique myself in workshops here in Barcelona. And the good news is today I'm traveling with these workshops to other places, since there has been uh, quite some demand, which is wonderful because I just love teaching. And together with uh, many of my students, I have learned quite a bit about what works and what doesn't. Because, you know, you learn the most when you're teaching, right? So I decided to come up with this program and I share all my knowledge with you. I believe that storytelling in itself has become pretty much a trend. And at the end, that's what mood boarding is about too. We're talking about a story. And a story has triggers, which in our case are the different keywords and we will split them into rational and emotional, and i show you how. So, I've been using this technique for quite some time now, uh, for personal and professional projects, and I would say I started like 15 years ago. Back then I did not know the exact wording, but I already felt it was a process that, getting, that helped me getting clarity in my projects. So, a personal project for mood building would be where do I want to be in the next two years? Or what do I want to teach? What courses will I have on the market? How is my company looking like? And how does it feel? And another personal question project would be where and how do I want to live? You see, I want to live with my husband in the countryside and we want to move. So working together on a mood board has been very powerful since we both got a very clear idea of our future home, making us committed in the common search. And when it comes to professional projects, I have been developing mood boards for um, shop owners who wanted to sell more at their point of sales, um, companies that were looking for transmitting their brand image and style, and for consultancies, I work with and develop trends. So whenever I present a trend there, I do that with a mood board. But there are many, many different applications for it. In my workshops, I have students who want to uh, renovate part of their home, so that's more of a personal project, illustrators working on a, new on a new portfolio, stylists searching for a tool how to present their work in a professional way to a client, interior designers, of course, bloggers who want to define the look and feel of their blog, artisans developing a collection, photographers, wedding planners, you name it. I'm just mentioning all these examples, so if you believe you have to be a designer to take advantage out of the course, let me tell you, this technique is basically about getting clarity and helping you focus down. So, if you follow some easy-to-apply guidelines, and I show you how, you will create a very well-structured and powerful mood board. Because a mood board is not a collage where pretty things have been put randomly together. In my video course, you will learn mood boarding step by step, and I have prepared a lot of visual examples. In fact, I share my personal props and materials with you. I have quite some boxes of material, and I hope to inspire you. Even the field I am working in might be different to yours. And I believe it's no coincidence that many creative pros are using mood boards to kick off their projects and keep them on track. 
and I teach you too how to keep on track with the last step of the three steps program. Because the surprise is once a mood board is finished, the work is not. Actually, it's when it all starts. So let me sum up some of the benefits you get by enrolling this course. First and foremost, it gives you clarity in a process by pinning down a story you want to tell. Second, sometimes it's complicated to express your ideas to others. A mood board is a very efficient visual communication tool. I show you how to communicate with the right words so you get more confidence when presenting. Uh, third, a mood board is just the perfect starting point to get things done. It causes momentum and when you get into action and you get into action when you're stuck. Fourth, it can be used almost everything for everything because it is so flexible. So if you feel that any of these benefits respond to your questions or needs you're having right now, then I'd love to have you on board. I really get nice feedback from my students after a four hours workshop. But this is different. I have put so much more content in here. It's actually a great program and I hope you get a lot out of it. It has been done with, uh, we have a word here in Spain that is uh, cariño, which means care. And I really share with you pretty much everything I know about mood boarding. So, if you decide to join in, I can just say welcome. It's good to have you and above all, have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.